Okay, so this is the second video here. Um, and this one, we've already written our table in, so we have our table of data in numbers. Now we want to look at how to actually draw a graph with that. Now I have made a very silly mistake in the first video. Um, so this is a learning experience for me as much as it is for you guys. I've never used this on the iPad myself that much, so this is all a bit new. So I did make one mistake, and that was I should have had my headings in these grey boxes here instead of starting in the white because in numbers headings are supposed to go in those dark grey boxes which I didn't know so I'm gonna to have to move this whole thing so the way I do that like always click in the first top left hand cell press the little button a uh, little dot in the bottom right hand corner there and drag to highlight everything and when you get all these options choose cut to cut the whole thing off. And now I'm going to press in the, one of these grey boxes like that and press paste. So that's moved everything up. So now those headings in my table are in the grey top row where the headings are supposed to go. So now it's going to work okay. So I should have done that before but you might need to make it change like that to your table because otherwise what I'm going to do now is not going to work for you. Alright, so now I've got the table where it needs to be and everything's highlighted in the box I'm going to go to the plus in the top right hand corner and I'm going to choose the type of graph I want now we might think that we want that line graph there that's to the right of that rainbow colored pie chart we don't actually want that we want the one in the bottom left hand corner that looks like a whole bunch of crosses so we choose that and there we go there's our graph so you can see there that there's blue dots to represent the temperature with no salt and there's green dots for the temperature with salt. So that looks okay but it's missing a few key things. For starters it's a scatter graph and it's not a line graph where all the dots are joined together like we used to but that is easy to fix. So to fix it you make sure your graph is highlighted which it is because it's got like a little blue box around it and then you go up to the paintbrush which is formatting. So you press that now we have a whole bunch of things we can change here. We can change the chart, which is another name for the graph. We can change the x-axis, which we'll have to do later, and the y-axis. But the first thing I'm going to do is actually go to where it says chart options down the bottom. Press that. And I am going to join all of those dots together to make a line graph. So I press on connection lines, where it currently says none. Press on connection lines and choose straight. And there you can see now the green dots for temperature of salt are joined together with a green line. And the blue dots for temperature of no salt are joined together with a blue line. So that's cool. So now we press the green chart options thing to go back. And press chart to go back again. And now we want to go to x-axis. So we press on that. And we want to do the following thing. The x-axis at the moment looks okay. But it doesn't have little tick marks at the 1, 2, and 3, and 4. So I want to add them on by ch choosing major tick lines and dragging that little button so it's on. So you see it's got little marks there now, that's cool. And I also want a space down the bottom to type stuff into to actually label it. So where it says axis name, I drag that and make sure it's switched on as well. And now you can kind of see it. It says value axis there, so I can type over the top of that later on. Alright, so that's the x-axis done. Now I'm going to go to the y-axis and do the same thing. Now the y-axis is a bit not right either because it doesn't have any line there at all. It just has the numbers floating in space. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to turn on axis line to actually give me a, a line there. And I'm going to turn on major tick marks to get little tick marks on the side. And then I'm going to turn on axis name. Alrighty, so we're nearly done now. So now I press out of that and the first thing I'll change is the X thing so I'm going to double press on that and the keyboard will come up and there I'm going to type in exactly the same thing that I had in my table which was time and then in brackets minutes and I press done and then I'm going to go up and I'm going to do the same thing Oops. you might have to just move your graph if you're having trouble selecting it double press on where it says value axis on the, the Y and here I'm going to type in temperature and 
and then in brackets, capital C for Celsius and press done. Cool, and there it is, there's my graph. So that looks pretty good, pretty professional. Now that's ready to just be sort of taken and copied into a pages document. So very quickly, I might just go through how you do that. So to copy anything from one thing to the next, it's a matter of just highlighting it first, dragging to select what you want to copy, pressing copy, and then double pressing the little um, home button, going to pages. I'm just going to paste it into this old document here. Press there. Let's so press in blank space, choose paste. So it shot my table in. And then I can probably do the same thing with the graph as well. So make a clear spot to paste my graph in. Go back to numbers. Scroll down to find my graph. Press on it to select it. Choose copy. Double press the home button again. Go back to pages. Press in the blank space. Choose paste. And there's my graph there. Cool, so that's how you do it. Now I might just go back to numbers and just show you one last thing before we finish because people get into bad habits when they're using this. You see up the top there it's called blank too. Um, every time you make a new document they call it blank number whatever. So if you've made 99 documents, you know the new one will be called blank 99. Um, that's not a very good habit to get into because then you've got all these documents in your iPad and you have no idea what they're supposed to be. So I'm going to rename this. So to get out of this I press spreadsheets, get back to this and then I press and hold on blank until it starts wobbling like that. Then I let go and then I press on it again. And then if I press on the name blank, I should be able to, this screen should come up and then I just give it a suitable name. So I might call this like, you know, boiling water experiment. That'd be a suitable name. So when I come back to that later on, now I know what it is. Alrighty. So there you go. Now you know how to do a table and a graph in numbers. So we are done.